Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about the Echo CS490, a five-year consumer review. So we're going to get right to it. All right, so... First of all, if you're just joining us here, please subscribe to the homestead. Um, we do a lot of firewood here. We do a lot of chainsaw stuff, tree felling, trail building, exploration. We're going to get into planting and forestry and all that other fun jazz. But anyways, if you watch those uh, few clips in the intro, those were all shot running the CS490 uh, here by Echo. This has been my main saw for five years now. Um, for those of you who are consistently following the channel, you know that we just equipped the Husqvarna 257 with a 28 inch skip tooth chain, blah, 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 blah. I know you're not here for that, but anyway, this video is gonna be about the Echo CS490, a five year consumer review. Here's what I like about it, and here's what I don't like about it. So let's get right into it. Um, first of all, Let's go through the, I guess, the negatives on it. Um, oh, actually, let me say this first. This video is not sponsored by Echo in any way. I'm not getting any money, any type of royalty, or any type of discount for making this video. This is simply just my experience um, after four, uh, five years of running this Echo CS490. Um, first thing, um, the factory chain that comes on it, throw it in the garbage. Um, it's one of those safety chains. It's, I, I'm, I don't know why Echo or any chainsaw manufacturer sells a chainsaw with a safety chain on it. This is designed to cut wood. Of course, it's going to be a dangerous tool, so I don't understand. But anyways, what I do is if you're going to buy an Echo CS490, you need this chain. This is an Oregon 20 LPX 078. This fits the 20-inch bar. A lot of these come with 18-inch bars, so this chain is for the 20-inch bar. Um... So yeah, 50 gauge, 0.325 pitch, blah, 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 78 drive links. Um, first thing I would do, change the chain. It makes a whirlwind a difference. Um, yeah, so anyways, ditch the factory chain. So um, right out of the box, how did I feel about it? I liked it. It was my first, like I guess, real chainsaw. The only thing I used before this was a McCulloch um, Eager Beaver top handle model. So this was my first, like I guess, real chainsaw. Um, Let's just go over it real quick. What I like about it is it's very easy to work on. Obviously, you have your oil here, your gas here. You have a um, screw style. And again, Echo didn't design. Echo isn't the you know royalty holder of this design, but it's toolless. You got your air filter there, spark plug there. You got your side adjustments here for your idle, side adjustments here for your high and low jets. Um, very simple, straightforward. Um, what I also like too um, is on the other side here, you're adjusting as this is a perfect, I think, beginner saw because the adjustment here is on the side. Like my Husqvarna here, the adjustments on the inside there, it's really a pain to kind of get to. So loosen the two nuts, lift the bar up and put tension on the chain. Pretty simple. If you want to see me do that, I've done that in numerous videos. But anyways, um, right out of the box, if I had to compare this to another, this is a 49cc saw. So if I had to compare this to another 49cc saw, I'm sure that other saw would do better, but there's things you can do to this saw that will make it compete with the steel, with the Husky, the same CC range. Um, first thing, like I said, is change the chain out. Second thing, run non-ethanol fuel in it. And third thing is, is remove the limiter caps from the carburetor. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I have a video, I'll put a link here, of how to tune a chainsaw. You tune your chainsaw with your low jet and your high jet here. I don't know how well you can see it. There's an H here and there's an L here, but um, take off the limiter caps. And there's a YouTube. There's another YouTube video on some other channel on how to do it. I wasn't going to make the video, but remove the limiter caps and retune the saw. And then you have basically a working man's cheap the cheapest probably 50cc saw uh, on the market. I like it. I've been a fan of it. I'm more comfortable with it um, than I am with, let's say, the Husky. The Husky's newer to me. It's heavier, longer bar. So this is my falling saw. Believe it or not, I fell, I fall all my trees for the last five years, and I bucked up all my firewood with this saw. I'm still running the factory bar. I grease it, and I flip it every, uh, every tank or so. Uh, just keep up with general maintenance. But it's held up. 
Um, the only thing that's happened after the five years is the anti-vibe control here bushing has fallen out, but it really doesn't make that whirlwind a difference. But I'm happy with it. If you're watching this video to maybe, you know, consider an Echo Chainsaw, I know, again, it's like Ford or Chevy. You can buy a Ford and you can buy a Chevy. You can get 100,000 miles out of it. It just depends on how you take care of it. But if you're looking to buy an Echo Chainsaw, um, I would recommend the CS490 for your beginner slash homeowner saw. Now, me, for example, I've kind of developed as the years have gone by in the homestead. We're doing a lot of big firewood cutting now so like i said that's why I'm, i got the husky 257 with the 28 inch bar but that's more of an like expert level saw but for your average homeowner um that's maybe gonna you know work your land a little bit and you know clean up storm damage and whatnot i think it's a great saw um it, it's started every time for me it's reliable it's relatively it's relatively light it has the um it's got the magnesium cases so it's not, they're not plastic, so it'll hold up from beating and uh, it'll take a good beating. I've whaled on this thing. So just to recap, if you're going to buy a CS490, um, change the chain out, do the muffler mod, um, which I'll show you real quick. I opened up these ports here and I took out one of the inside baffles here in the exhaust because these come heavily restricted. And then I also, like I told you earlier, I took out the um, limiter caps on the chainsaw this is just my opinion if you blow up your saw that's not my fault um you have to know what you're doing uh i'm a mechanic i've been a mechanic my whole life so i know how to tune an engine but anyways change the chain muffler mod and remove the limiter caps and you have yourself a screaming 50 cc uh saw that i feel will compete with the with the bigger brands but it's also half the price so anyways i just want to make this quick one shot video on this is my five year review of the echo cs490 i'll attach some videos of me cutting with it but uh i'm very happy with it it's done its job i've put it through the test of time and i've like i said i've beaten on it and it it fights back so anyways appreciate you guys watching hit that thumbs up for more chainsaw firewood cutting stuff please subscribe to the channel i'm always doing fun stuff around here so anyways this is my five-year review on the echo cs490 you do those three things to it i think you have a saw that can compete with the bigger brands right out of the box no i'll say it flat out but if you mod the muffler retune the carb change the chain I think you got a pretty powerful saw for all around good home use. Would I take this out on a wildland fire? Probably not. But for what your average person is going to use it for, I think it's a great saw. So anyways, hit that thumbs up, guys. Let me know what you guys think. If you have one, let me know how it's uh, held up for you because I'm happy with it. You know, I'll, I don't do reviews a lot on my channel. I'm not a channel review uh, person, but... It's a cheap saw. A lot of people have asked me to, you know, what have I thought about it? A lot of people give me grief on running it, but I tell you, the thing screws. Once you do those three things, you got a pretty competitive 50cc, 49cc saw um, for, again, half the price. So, anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel, and we will see you out in the woods. <laughs>